What's up folks, I'm here in Hamburg, or as I like to call it, the Paris of Northern Germany. I'm here because Gamigo is holding a huge event called NextG, where they're gonna showcase their upcoming titles. I'm especially excited about Jag the Line Online, which of course has a lot of fans. Then there's a game called Grimlands, which is very Mad Max sort of, -ish, that looks very, very cool. And of course, Otherland, a game that is based on the books by Tad Williams. So let's go have a look what we're going to see here. So I've got Nina here from Gameswell. Nina, you just saw the whole presentation from Gamigo. Uh, what did you think about the lineup in general? Oh, I was kind of surprised because I thought, well, internet games, that's not that special, can't be that interesting, but uh, they tried to make kind of uh, AAA titles, which, uh, which are also interesting for core gamers, and I think uh, they did very well. Which game did you like the most? Um, I guess the two games I, uh, I enjoyed the most were, were uh, Grimlands, because uh, I, I really uh, I'm a big fan of post uh, post, okay. post nuke uh, universe, and uh, of course uh, other land is, uh, is is pretty uh, pretty amazing because it's very uh, it's beautiful and it has a, a very um, original universe. Uh, for me personally, it's mm, I would say other land because the the big uh, the book is, is such a big project, and I hope the game can mess with that. Okay. Which title do you think your readers would appreciate the most out of this lineup? Oh, I think GameStar readers are very nerdy gamers and I think they look um, especially on, on Jack the Lions online. Is there one specific title that you really thought looked great that you really got interested in? Yeah, Otherland, of course. I'm a big fan of the books. I read them years ago and uh, I was really waiting and uh, looking forward for this game. Today, for the first time, we will announce and show you an exclusive new game set in the Black Prophecy universe. destined to become heroes. As Patrick stated, we are using the Black Prophecy uh, universe, but we are trying to build something different with Nexus Conflict. And once again, I really want to emphasize this. We are going to develop a tactical space game where you take control of the real big ships. <laughs> What is Grimlands all about? Well, we are in a post-apocalyptic setting. Um, it is the present, actually, but there was an earthquake shaking the world and the civilization as we know it was scrambled away, and so there's more like the struggle for survival right now. How big is it? Can you compare it to any other game, maybe? Or, you know, how, how long will it take me to explore? <laughs> is, it, is it infinite big or...? No, of course it is not infinite big. Um, we are ha we have one scenario, one setting, which is this wasteland you could see in the presentation. We are planning on adding on certain other, well, looks like, for example, some wetland where it's, it's all like a swamp and also some some beach and coastline stuff. But at the moment, if you try to, if you're running, you will run multiple hours in the same direction, but without uh, reaching a final decision, uh, a final a final ending, a border. So that is why vehicles and uh, traveling by helicopter, which is something that is really something you have to achieve later on, is really important because running is not the way to go long distances. Welcome to Grimland. Jagged Alliance is a big license that has a lot of fans. Do you feel a lot of pressure on your shoulders? Well, it's not about feeling it. We actually experienced the pressure. We got into the fan forums. Like One of the first things we did was actually go there and tell them that we're doing an online browser version of their beloved game. And then it took us a while to recover. Okay. But um, by now, I think we've got their, at least their grudging respect. Time. I'll try to make it feel nice. 
how close is this game to the books? I mean, will fans of the books recognize this universe? Fans will definitely recognize. Actually, we're not playing during the time of the books. We are set after the books. Okay. But of course, it's the same world. So we're definitely there. Are many places people uh, will recognize, and I have. I'm just into the books, and I <laughs> think it's hey, we really made that right. <laughs> okay. So what makes this game special compared to other MMOs? Special. So. Two things. One is the multiverse. So Otherlands is a, a network of virtual realities. So we have really different worlds, many, many different worlds connected. So one is more in the medieval world, the other one is more in like fiction, cyberpunk world. We can think of many more. If you know the books, you know what I mean. And the other one, we have a more modern combat system. So we're not going in the typical MMO, um, old school, select the target and wait till this guy is dead. So we really have a kind of more action oriented. Uh, we, we turn it up a notch and um, I think it's still really accessible to all kinds of players. If you're a newbie, no problem, you can play that. I now have Patrick, one of the members of the board of Gamigo, here with me. Patrick, uh, how did this whole event go for you so far? Uh, I think the event was quite a success. Um, we got pretty good feedback. It's the third time we're doing this. And the feedback from the press was quite positive. I hear comments like, yeah, other companies are putting out only Asian games and it's all the same. But here it's really something different. One journalist said it's, we had games that he would love to play privately. And I think that's the best thing that people can say. So you guys just had this big event here, it was a success. You guys are coming out with a lot of different games, you know, for all kinds of people. What else is coming for Gamigo? What, you know, what, what does the future hold for you guys? Well, I guess for 2012 we just showed you. Um, we have a few titles in development which we haven't announced yet, which we'll sh show later, but that's really the 2012 titles. I think the industry is getting uh, more competitive, more consolidated. There's more uh, uh, free-to-play MMOs coming out every day, subscription games being converted. But I still believe there's a lot of genres and themes that we can make an MMO in. And that's our strategy. Jagged Alliance Online, UFO Online, Grimlands. Those are all titles that are very, very unique. And that's what we're focusing on to work with developers around the world, the best developers, to bring really unique games uh, to the market. So folks, that pretty much sums it up for me here from the next G event in Hamburg. Gamigo really presented a lot of games and the fun part is they're all very different and versatile. Something we all can look forward to within the next months and years to come. So I say goodbye and hopefully we will see each other next year at another next G.